We are doing a gold mine and cocoa podcast, and it doesn't involve me. <laughs> Felicia gave us this amazing, like, amazing podcast title, and now she wants to take it back. Thank you, big dog. That's what she be saying, big dog. Thank you, big dog. I could talk. I'm stepping into so, um, now becoming a corporate CEO. mood board cards and put them on this rack for subscriptions that'll be great and then Jay said that she had been noticing that we need to get back on cleaning this week so make sure y'all taking that trash wiping down everything for y'all leave that's all for me kitchen and bathroom no good morning y'all look so pretty today I'm here. This is a vibe. Everybody's kind of corny. Corny. It's just corny. So, these past couple of weeks, I, I would say maybe the past month, Felicia has been slowly stepping back and uh, giving me and Jasmine more responsibilities and more tasks to take care of. Felicia's going to be taking a smaller role in day to day, and I feel like we've also made her more confident that if she chooses to do that, we're capable of getting it done. Me and stepping back. It has not been the easiest thing to process. However, it is a necessary thing at this point. My feelings about Gold Mine and Coco's future is a few things. I'm terrified. I'm anxious. I'm excited. I'm honored. I'm grateful. <laughs> like, the list goes on and on. It is a range of emotions that I feel when it comes to the future of Gold Mine and Coco. I think more or less right now, I'm just trying to focus on building a brand that is sustainable beyond myself. I love Rihanna, but in, in the highlight. And some, you know. Really? I could see that. I can see that too. Yeah. I feel like you really have a type. Wait, how do you feel about Beyonce? This is really important. Okay, I can yeah, see I can that. The, you know, I'm with the hype. It's no hype. Her fans have built the hype around her. I'm not saying that there's no hype around Beyonce, but Beyonce has earned it. Obviously, our podcast is called Girl Pull Up a Seat. We had episode one. It was very interesting. I think we were both kind of nervous once we got started, but as we got into it and got more comfortable with the setting, it just went back to like the two of us having a normal conversation. I don't want to feel like that's the absolute no no for me. See, I'd be anticipating so it's just the like, reaction. Right here. Okay. But no, I did all of this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's true. And then for me, I'd be like, if I fail, like, I'm going to sort of lose I it. And it's like, I can learn from it. But if I feel like it's not the white She got a hair in a ponytail today. She got her little makeup on. I can't afford it. I recorded my first podcast with Jasmine and I actually really, really enjoyed it. It was fun, it was easy, it came really natural for us. So I'm excited to see what we can do in the future with our podcast. I think the podcast is going to build and expand the Gold Mine and Cocoa brand because it's going to give us the opportunity to reach a younger demographic. It's going to allow us to expand our audience through another channel and another platform, whereas most people found us through Facebook and Instagram. We're now going to be able to reach people that listen more so to podcasts. And they're going to be intrigued and want to find out, well, what kind of products do they sell? What exactly is it that they do? And that's going to lure them into the Gold Mine and Cocoa brand and eventually into the community as well. Which, once you get to the community, you're sold. The community runs the show. So, I think it's going to be a great way to bring in that demographic that we're really looking for. See what they're doing. Uh -huh. So, uh, you see how he has one uh, here, uh -huh. and two, it's the same. It's he's gonna lift them the same way. So, light brown. It is very empowering to know that I started this company with only a hundred dollars, and I started the company with the intention to supplement income in my household. So to know that in only four years, this baby, this idea has been able to support my family, 
it's been able to retire my dad, put my children in a better situation, support young African American women and their livelihoods, and wow, to build a community like none other. When people come to me and they mention Gold Mine and Coco, they always mention the community. They always mention the women who hyped them up on a day when they were feeling low, who spoke life into them, who celebrated their journey and their wins, who understood their hobby, who understood what brought them joy. And to know that I play a role in that, I was chose to do this, this thing where from the outside looking in, I, we cut stickers, right? We design and put these objects on planners and journals and notebooks and all types of other stationery. But to know that those things create impact in the lives of other people all around the world. And it brings them joy just to get a package from Gold Mine and Coco. It is a phenomenal and empowering and motivating feeling to be able to take charge and lead that. There's no other way to explain how I feel, how I feel about the gyms, how I feel about the young women that work for me, my family. Gratitude, gratitude. I'm honored to serve and to serve in the capacity at which I do.